No. Hi, Robert. Oh, ahoy, Marty. Sorry, it's my first time I was finding, no worry, no finding worry. the button. No worry. Uh, but uh, how are you? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so much. far, so good. Surviving. Uh, but how we should speak? Uh, Polish, Czech, mix. You know, mix, we tried English. a few times Polish and <laughs> it's, Czech. it's pretty <laughs> difficult. So I would, I would prefer English. Okay, no worry. Yeah, it's... Uh, for me, it's the same. Good. It, it might be. It might be a bit of comedy if we speak. Uh, me, Polish, yeah, you, Czech. Yeah, and... <laughs> I think nobody understands nothing. So, better like always add yeah. a few words in our languages to yes. swap to English. Yes. Yes. Good. How are you? All good? Yeah. 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 Sitting in my office, but ah, missing the races. Yeah. Yeah. That's for sure. You? But, uh, well, I'm. I'm in home, Monaco. Uh, Doing nothing. <laughs> training, doing nothing. Training a bit of simulator. Yes. And uh, yeah, uh, it's actually already one month, I think, nearly. Yeah, one yeah, month. Yeah, that I'm, um, uh, more fully... than five weeks at home. Yeah, so I, I don't see no one apart of uh, people uh, when I do, when I buy stuff, for food for, uh, yeah, for eating. Okay. Supermarket. Yeah. Who, who is helping you? Uh, ah, you? <laughs> yeah, our, our he's good. Manager. Family, good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. yeah. The team. We are all, all together good? in yeah in one place. So yeah. it's nice because it's like 18 years I'm racing and it's first time staying so long at home. Yeah. Just one season <laughs> when I crashed and I couldn't walk for more than I don't know half a year. I was at home, but yeah. Yeah, it's otherwise different. this is yeah. first time in my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think ever for everyone the situation is not easy. Yeah. But uh, how is the team? Mechanics, Ivan is good. They are fine or Yeah, they are fine, but we are missing everything. We are missing the car yeah, because sure. it was stuck in Abu Stop. Dhabi. Yeah. So they don't have Shrek. real Shrek. work, so they are like making uh jobs in, in the workshop, so painting, you know, cleaning and this stuff that we didn't have uh, yeah, yeah. time before, yeah. so yeah. Everything is ready. But uh, but why why uh, when we talk uh, about the car that is uh, stop over, why the name Shrek? Because it, it looks terrible. <laughs> <laughs> you know that I I called um, the Fiesta I called Fiona because yes it's because it looks nice. Yeah. I always use some name and for this ugly car we had to find something and and we use this Shrek so. But it why. sounds good. Yeah. Uh, How you we... call your cars? I don't call them. Just car. <laughs> <laughs> Just the car. But there are some drivers, as you, they call it with the nice names, yeah? Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, but it sounds good. I remember uh, in uh, Gdynia last year in uh, Verva Street Racing, so engine sounds good. Yeah, yeah, it's it's good one. American yeah, I, I, I couldn't drive it because there were some uh, logos on your car where... Uh, well, <laughs> I couldn't maybe it was not a better idea but now as we are together in Orland team yeah now uh, we have good luck uh, on the car ne ne next time next time uh, I jump yeah but you need some fat to drive it yeah you cannot be so slim yeah well uh, maybe, <laughs> you lost maybe. your power <laughs> <laughs> but it's heavy is it, how, how is it is it's tough it's after a few hours it's it's, yeah. it's coming to be to be tough yeah yeah but yeah. like but, everything, you need the power here. Yeah. If you want to finish, you finish. Yeah. So okay. yeah, it's better if you have some some more muscles and more more fat than you have for Formula One. <laughs> but anyway, well, it's... it depends. Fat, yeah. You know, I think uh, endurance races, you know, is is a big big challenge. Not only driving, but to survive. I mean, to as as a body, as a mental yeah. stress. It's uh, it's for sure a, a lot different to to yes. even rallies which we did in WRC. Yeah. Or, but me already like in WRC I struggle for three days. You know, different to racing. You know, you do a race and that's it. No, the so problem you... is that you have it in your head all the week. Yeah. Because you are thinking, you are concentrated, and you are like in the stress yeah. all week, and then three days in a row, you you. Even if you sleep, you think about the stages, you think about the corners. Yeah, videos, so, videos. Yeah, you, yeah, are, yeah. you are literally like yeah, yeah, yeah. close all, all the weekend. So I, I felt the same. I said 
in in WRC I do 20 kilometer stage I'm I'm tired and in in cross country you do 400 500 and you feel the same like um, the the feeling is the same you are tired yeah. the same yeah. so and how was Dakar this year fast fast yeah for you no for me no but uh, this is what I spoke with some uh, moto mo motorbike uh, uh, drivers from Orlen team and uh, and you you say that it was very fast and sometimes boring some stages yes also uh, also cuba uh, and uh, yeah and uh, you know it's uh, i i spoke with few drivers also not uh, you know international and uh, from from the from the cars they say it was boring and from motorbike it looks like it was very challenging because even if, if it was straight you know they are much more sensitive to mm. stones everything so yeah it, it... but the problem is that the car is not sensitive the car can go over yeah. so many things and even the trucks sometimes the trucks they they had very similar times to us because sometimes you have to stop between the stones like second gear and he can yeah. go with the truck full 140 yeah. straight and you have to go first second gear and he can go straight so this was crazy for me. I, I, I like the difficult stages from uh, South America. You know, it was always destroyed, tough, fresh, fresh. And this I was missing. So I hope for next year it will be difficult for us again. But yeah, but did you, did you, uh, so, so you, you driving your own car, built yes. completely by your team, yeah? Because yes. this, is, this is nice. I don't know, probably all your fans knows that you, you are running your own team. But I found it, uh, like uh, with big respect, uh, you know, okay. it's like, uh, no, because uh, it's not easy. You go in the past against uh, WRC, against uh, factory teams, uh, you go Dakar, it's, it's a big challenge, not only for you, but uh, as a team, you know, uh, logistically wise, all preparation and now building the car. Yeah, I thank you. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, I, uh, I chose my way. Sometimes you, you can feel it was not a good idea because you are missing the best technical stuff and yeah. support from big team but sometimes you like it because yeah i think you have feeling, to, uh, yeah, especially yeah. in dakar if you build a car and you you feel every change and you are in the contact with the best it's really nice feeling yeah, yeah for sure i mean yeah. it's 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 something which uh, i think not a lot of people realize uh, yes because uh, you know uh, for everyone they look results they look videos and uh, and of course it's different but when you when you are involved like you, you have your own team, uh, your own people, and, and the team is very good. Uh, it's a bit shame that uh, when you were trying to, to do two cars uh, in WRC, it didn't work out with Osberg, uh, because I, I think it was a, a really nice project. And, uh, yeah, yeah. you know, uh, in WRC, in the end, uh, there are only factory teams, uh, but there is no, uh, you know, all you do R5, WRC2, mm. WRC3, how we call it now, but uh, there is a big hole. Yeah, like I think with, if the you, team would have better driver, there can be good results, I think. <laughs> well, I, yeah, I don't know, yeah, but, but, uh, but it, it's, it's a, I, I mean, uh, you know, it's like uh, I have seen around and also when we did the Mugello, because uh, uh, when we did, you know, a small adventure, I was a bit tough on, on the team uh, because, you know, racing, it, it was sad, but uh, I did some other GT and uh, the, your team, is, you know, is like run properly. The guy who is sitting uh, on the other side of the table as well, cleaning, <laughs> he's the, having a, a tough he's time. He's still crying from the invoices because of you. <laughs> Why? <laughs> no, no, you really like, it was good for us that we had such a driver, but it was big school and it was first like, even one of the first testing and first racing on the circuit and with you it was proper challenge because you were asking for proper stuff everything perfect well yeah um, but i think you know but we when were you... the fastest it was great yeah you were I the mean, fastest not me i yeah you did well i mean we have a, a technical problem but uh, <laughs> yeah i think i, I think it was uh... It was a, a, a big challenge. And, uh, no, I have, you know. I have still your name on the car. So ah, okay. yeah. you are proud <laughs> to have you in the team. Yeah, no, it's good, it's good. Robert, so, I have one question to you. Yes. I, I never ask you because we were always talking about so many things. I, have, I don't know if it's you will be serious. honest to answer. The question is why such a driver like you 
the circuit driver that you have great history why you like the rally so much uh. <laughs> i was always thinking I, i said why this guy he loves the rally because on the circuit you can do crazy things you did the crazy things yeah, i did like crazy also it's two uh, I, completely I, different categories it's completely yeah. different motorsport well I, this is a bit strange because uh Okay, I'm coming from Poland. So when I was a kid, uh, I was doing karting and uh, circuit racing was uh, much less popular than uh, rallies. In Poland, in the end, we have uh, quite good history of rallying, you know. Uh, we had uh, good drivers in rallies, uh, but not so many on the racetrack. So when I was uh, 13, 14, 15, a lot of people were telling me, ah, you should do rallies, you should do rallies. And I was uh, kind of... Uh, Uh, against going rallies because I was proud to to drive on circuit. Uh, and then for very long, I didn't even try rallies. Then one day, uh, thanks to Tomek Kuhar, uh, I try Evo 6, Group N, or kind of, you know, we have a, a small rally end of season uh, Barburka. Okay. Uh, and I did this rally in 2000, what was it? 2004, I think. And uh, in the end, uh, I like rallies. I did uh, the, later in the winter, did try a bit. Uh, at that time, I was uh, in good contact with uh, Jan Kopetsky. Uh, I even bought the car from him uh, for, for snow. You know, it, it was so different to, okay. to what I was doing all, the, all the, my life that I enjoyed. And, uh, and then I started the, the driving from one. And uh, I couldn't do rallies with BMW, but uh, I thought uh, when I arrived into the high level of Formula One, I thought rallies can give me something extra as a race driver okay. uh, to make me more complete. And uh, when you are trying to have something be better and, uh, and you arrive into the good level, because I think I was not too bad level in Formula One. You, you mean always the cutting, because... This is the all, the all what you can learn from the WRC to cut everything, to make it no, stop. <laughs> no, no, but not cutting. But for example, uh, like uh, I did 2010 uh, uh, Australia, 2000, uh, uh, good results with Renault. I have been in 2008 or 7, 2007 leading in China where I have a gearbox issue. Both this uh, uh, Grand Prix, I make the difference or let's say I stay on with slicks on a wet track. Okay. So for example, in China, everybody came in to change the tires because there was small, there will start raining. And uh, I have information that it will last uh, two, three minutes. So I stay out. I was all over the places because I couldn't keep the, the, tra uh, the car on track, but then uh, it dry up. Everybody had to re um, again to change the tires and I continue. And I was leading the, the Grand Prix. So, you know, there are some occasions where, uh, for example, in rally, you are mm -hmm. not coming in. If it starts raining, yeah. you have to adapt. No, that's the uh, difference. And, and, yeah. and, and, uh, and the reason is that I like rallies because it's complicated and it's so different. But uh, the reason I was doing it when I was, I was keen to do it, it was to find something extra which could give me maybe in, in only one occasion uh, during all year or even three okay. years the difference and, uh, and advantage over the others. Okay. Uh, and then, of yeah. course, uh, yeah, the reason why I went to rallies uh, after my accident, it was because uh, I needed a big challenge. I need to keep my mind busy away of racing because uh, I, I, I had, I, I mean, I was uh, upset with, not upset with myself, but uh, when I was going to the racetrack, I have a um, bad feeling, you know, like, uh, I don't know how to say it in English. Uh, Yeah. So it's in Polish. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <but laughs> <laughs> and, and uh, you know, so I, I choose uh, rallies just for. Uh, I, I, I like, for example, I was in Formula One, so I wanted to uh, have as big challenge as Formula One. Okay. And for me, going to rallies, especially what I did directly in WRC, was hundred times bigger than racing in Formula One, because really? if you. Well, yeah, because if you think I went, you, you, you did rallies, you for a very long time, you know how, how it is. I went rally of Portugal, WRC2, after one day of gravel testing. That's it. 
<laughs> never have been on gravel. Never. <laughs> never. I did one day, and and you know testing is different than rallies. Testing after four four times oh, you yeah. go through yeah. the stage, you know it. You drive as a circuit, but then yeah. and Portugal yeah, yeah. And, and, and the road is changing so much, and the conditions wow. are changing. And... Yeah, but even all jumps, you know, over crest, yeah. uh, I have no idea. No, yeah, you have I to mean, read uh, it by eyes, and if you have no experience, the eyes nah. are saying nothing. To I you, so. I did. Uh, like Azores, I, uh, I was leading, I did crash, roll the car, just because I was not used to, to follow the rats, the lines of the others. Yes. Yeah. So for example, I see the road and uh, my brain is telling me from my experience or everything, this is the best line, yeah? Or yeah. for example, by pace nose. So I enter and I look too far away. So actually I turn in and I was, 20 centimeters out of the, you know, because everybody stayed tight. It yep. was a double corner, so and I crashed. No, that's that's my experience with you because when I could drive with you in uh, in the Mercedes, the GT3, I saw your line. I, I saw how you use the line completely different than me, because I always, even on the circuit, I use the um, the rally line. So and it's yeah, very but... often very dif different because you have yeah, to yeah, stay safe, and manage at the corner. You don't know really well the corners now yeah, the guys are yes. trying to learn it by by the head by the memory but before if you use the pace notes you still have to have small space on the road to manage if you are too fast or too wide but yeah, if yeah. you drive like a circuit like you show me on the in the Mugello I said ah no way this is completely different line yeah I don't have it in my head yeah but this so, is exactly what's happening when uh, when you when you sit down yeah, in the car, in the end, you drive naturally. So what, what your brain is used, how you are used to. And I was driving 25 years or 20 years as a race driver. And then I go to do rallies. And especially on gravel, where I have no clue. Yeah. Uh, I mean, <laughs> you can imagine every stage. And then uh, even more difficult, every, every yeah, show the logos. Uh, uh, oh Every every rally it was new for me, new experience. And you know that in WRC, there are every rally is different. I mean, uh, you, Very you, different. Yeah. yeah, you go Portugal has nothing to do with Finland. Oh, Finland is, so, is yeah. nothing to do well, with anything yeah, in the, yeah, in the world. But, yeah. yeah, but even Germany, no, 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 Deutsch, everything is Deutschland, different. every time is different. Is different. So, so you know, for me it was like every time from starting from zero. Yeah, and then. Wow. <laughs> no, no, it was, it, yeah, it was all of it learning. You think that you know everything, and then you find yeah. out that you know nothing. So yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, it, uh, yeah, it was a tough time uh, for me. Uh, I, I was also in a very special period of my life. I think I drove, uh, uh, you know, a bit for myself. I didn't have a, a, a goals, uh, so uh, it, it was a bit different. Probably now I will redo it a bit different. But of course, I, I learned yeah, it's always as like well. Is, uh, but in the end, you know, uh, as you did with your team, I, I ran in the end uh, as a privateer. Uh, sometimes we were fighting uh, not for long because uh, most of the times or I crash or I have technical <laughs> issues. But, uh, but you know, uh, when, you, when you finish the stages and you are in the mix of uh, top drivers with factory cars and, uh, and then you, you come to the service area, service park, your team was nice structured. I was coming with two vans, uh, two remember. small tents, and uh, and uh, you know it's uh, and then you go to the stages. In the end, uh, is a nice feeling. Probably we know that's why I respect a lot your team and yourself, because uh, probably only us know what how different it can be, yeah. you know, yeah. uh, and and how how tough it can be, you know. Uh, and but it was a nice period. Do you have still a Fiona? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's ready. Yeah. It was ready for, for Sardinia in two okay, months, yeah. as it's cancelled, but I said I want to always come to, to Sardinia every year, so still it's allowed to go with this old car, so that was the plan. Yeah. And I don't want to sell it. You have it? Yeah, I have it, yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I, they were just, I think, six of them produced. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. I, I like it. I and I keep, keep it. it. I keep it, uh, uh, you know, a uh, bit of... I, I never sell my cars. So, uh, which is, uh, I don't have many of them, but uh, I have few rally cars and uh, stuff like this, and I never sell. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, 
I, I did keep it for nearly one and a half year, two years, completely this month, completely, okay. uh, you know, only body shell was uh, together, uh, just to disintoxicate myself from rallies. <laughs> <laughs> and, and now it's completely mounted, but uh, ready to go, but I am. Uh, yeah, but now it's too slow. The R5 cars are much yeah, faster. Yeah, R5 cars. Yeah, it's a great car. It's great fun to drive it. It's WRC. It's proper yeah. WRC, but it's too slow. It's just fun to drive. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. as I yeah, know, you, is... you want to come in the fastest car. Ah, oh, but, uh, you know, I, there was a bit of uh, idea to, an opportunity maybe to go to rallies this, this year and back. Okay. Uh, but I think WRC Plus are, you know, if I, if when I see onboards and, uh, and, uh, and you see how, what they do is impressive. I mean, it's, yeah. uh, the world wow. change, the world in wow. WRC change. I, I saw it, I, I, I see all the videos and I said, oh guys, it's so different. <laughs> really yeah, it, with, with this, uh, aero, uh, yeah. package, it's yeah. crazy. Yeah, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I think now it, it will be even more difficult because the, uh, the the barrier, the the advantage aerodynamics gives. In the end, you, in your your mind, there is a barrier. You know, you yeah. have to get used to it. And uh, I think in the when when the first uh, WRC Plus came, uh, you know, it took uh, the drivers couple of rallies to adapt yes. to actually explore hundred percent of it. Uh, because in high speed corners it's impressive. I mean, yeah. It's no, no, incredible. you see the corners because you know the corners and you know that before we had to break to the corners or go a little bit yeah. like with the slide. Yeah. Now they go flat out. Yeah. I don't get yeah. it. I uh, <laughs> even on the when I see it in, in the TV, I don't get it. I really don't know how how they do it because they it's not about the car. They have to change in the head. Yeah, yeah, this they is what I'm say, saying. Yeah, this tight corner, I just break a bit, make big like slide before and then go flat out. I, I, I have no idea. So yeah. that's why I'm saying this world is not for me anymore. So yeah, if then I will come back with R5, so. Yeah. Yeah. This is, uh, yeah, it's, it's, I, 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 I like it. I see it I in your head if uh, you want to come. Uh, no, 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 no. I would like to try it because I think it's, uh, it's something uh, special. It is. Uh, it's amazing. But, but uh, yeah, I think uh, they are looking to change uh, WRC cars. I don't know if you saw some news about yeah. hybrid. Well, and, hybrid, uh, you mean? Yeah, yeah. But the hybrid is, I think, is a, a normal process of of world changing. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and uh, but uh, they want to do put like a five speed gearbox, uh, no yes. central diff, no active diff, a bit of R five. Yeah. yeah. Style. Again, back. They made it yeah. like crazy, like F1 yeah. technique, and now they want to go back. I I don't get this move. So, I think for the drivers uh, who are driving WRC Plus now, if if they do these changes, regulation will be disappointment. Yes, because uh, it already well, happened in the past. From Focus to Fiesta, it was like a step back, but you know, yeah, it's with, yeah, it's, with uh, federation it's is of... always up and down the technique. Yeah, yeah, from the sure, best to sure. the the worst and back again so yeah but the, the the current wrc is for the for the fans it's i think amazing yeah even in the tv it looks crazy it's yeah. really <laughs> the best of the best so yeah it looks good it looks tell me good. how you like the electric stuff um... if you can say true <laughs> well i say it already a lot without saying <laughs> Yeah. No, I think, you know, for environment and in the end for road uh, usage, I think is a, is a something, uh, a, a big project and good project, you know, in yeah, the end the we cities, have to, we have sure, to yes. take care of ourselves and uh, of, of the environment and of the future, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I think but this I mean is the a, racing. Ra racing, uh, I, I think I'm a bit old school and uh, I like uh, sound, noise, yes. uh, smell of, you know, of uh, fuel yeah. burning and, and, uh, and when you enter the garage, there is always, uh, yes. you know, uh, smell of fuel and stuff like this. It reminds me all, always, you know, being also a child, yes. you know, when, uh, when, uh, when you were uh, every, every workshop you come in, you, 
they have to be you know uh, a bit of uh, noise when you fire up the car you know this is there's that moments you know uh, are special yes that, and, that's uh, true yeah i have and, the same feeling yes and it's like i don't know it's like uh, probably i'm not drinking coffee but uh, i assume every one who is drinking the morning coffee is a routine yeah and it's making you uh, alive like realizing that you are awake and then be the engine sound i think is 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 the same for me yes yeah uh, you know when you you associate it with with being a motorsport yeah yeah that's why i love my v8 in the in the track yeah the, when i when you fire up in gdynia i say wow this uh, that's proper sounds no, no, good it's it's amazing even after five hours driving the stage you you love the the engine because always you go in the refs and rah, rah, that's so cool. what engine you have there mustang ford mustang v8 five liters and and how is it with uh, fuel consumption it's is a problem or huge yeah, Here. in in the sand it's almost 100 liters per per 100 kilometers. Kilometer, so. And if you go on the gravel, it's around 60. So yeah, that's a lot. The 500 that's more... liters tank. Yeah, Ooh. that's crazy. Then then it's heavy when, uh, when yeah uh, in the start of the stage. Yeah, but you don't. I I don't get it. You don't feel it. Even it's a little bit better when it's full than without. Because, when it's light, oh, okay. it's behaving strange. But when okay. it's heavy, it's stable. Okay, yeah, it's a bit normal. Uh, you know, yeah. weight makes so huge difference. So you would you would get crazy to find the setup for full. Oh, but you cannot. And, and empty you can, car. Yeah, you cannot get. Uh, <laughs> you have to do so many compromises in this, yeah, in this Dakar sure. racing. Well, yeah, for sure. I mean, but you know, like... WRC is the same. You are, It's never perfect. Always yeah. something is well, getting. So, sometimes you can. Or, uh, you, you you hit something or your your toe is out because you yeah. hit something or even you you tire up everything uh, because there is damage and and you go faster than before yes <laughs> yes 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 it's just that yeah, yeah. And yeah. Then, then, the key you know. is never stop just keep going yeah yeah exactly it's like uh, especially in running i i i like I remember first year when I was hitting rocks or or, or, or something, I always my I always have in my head that I have puncture or broken suspension, because yeah. you know in a, a, my world in racing as soon as you touch something little, uh, the suspension breaks. You have a problem, or, yeah. yeah, you have a problem. So I remember every time I was asking, oh I think I have puncture, oh I think, uh, and then after a bit you realize always full throttle, and uh, and uh, <laughs> yeah. you know. I, I remember the stories uh, when I was a kid, you know, and uh, my friends went to to see rallies, and uh, and I remember they they I think went to see Colin McRae in GB, yeah. and uh, and they were in the corner where he went off and uh, he was rolling, and uh, and they were I remember they were saying ah he kept full throttle all the time, even you know when uh, he was up in the air he was rolling he and I was wow. Oh, and this is, and then in the end you sit in in the rally car, me as a driver, and you do the same thing. Yes. And, until you are not upside down and you know the game is over. No, no, no. <laughs> I have the same. Even if, if I crash, I put the first gear and I try. Yeah, yeah. I try, it's, it's try. Crazy. If it doesn't move, then it's problem, problem. But well, I, I, well, in Finland, <laughs> I, I, there was a right to left corner, a second pass. And uh, I, I, in Finland, generally you run very low as a gravel because. But yeah. then for the second pass, there were some big ruts, and there was a long corner. I was easy in the ruts, and uh, especially that year, I was driving very clean, very racing style, so you. no sideways. Yeah, uh, because I was not used to you know driving sideways in rally car. So and what happened? I bottom out, so it touched uh, underneath the car. It pulled me out from the rats into the bush yeah and i remember my co-driver saying keep it keep it i have trees in front <laughs> so practically i put i took over two trees and continue <laughs> uh, and there is uh, there is on board uh, there is a video outside video so you see a, a two trees coming <laughs> over my car but quite big and uh, and uh, yeah it's uh, incredible how strong the cars are yes yes yeah Th this is crazy 
And on Dakar, it's even worse because ah, the yeah, car sure. survives really crazy things. And you yeah. can't release the throttle. If you release in the sand, you are there for hours. Yeah. So really, yeah, you always, have to keep always. going, always. In the dunes, you think you are dead, you have to keep going. Wherever you go, even to the biggest hole, you have to keep going full throttle. That's really crazy. Yeah. yeah, yeah I think you, yeah. you, you would like it. Ah, I don't know. Do you speak with Fernando about it or? No, I haven't. Yeah. I think he, he likes it. Yeah? I don't know. Yeah. He, he, he likes to win. Yeah, that he was disappointed with this one, I think. Well, <laughs> I don't think, somebody I th yeah, well, I think it's normal. Actually, I think uh, uh, he did uh, some great uh, results, no? some stages. And no, it's no, normal it was amazing. That, and it's normal that uh, uh, on a long, long distance, the experience is very important, and he doesn't have it. So uh, no, 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 uh, it, it was good. But I think in yeah. in Argentina and and especially Peru, it would be tough for him because with yeah. this speed, what he can like make with the car, with so many danger things in in South America, it would be much more difficult. Because this yes. year, I couldn't see. I I I, I saw something uh, something like really difficult. For the okay. motorcycles, yes, it was it was yeah. some very very dangerous uh, places, but for the cars, it was really flat out. I think good yeah. for him. Yeah, yeah, fast, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. more uh, more difficulties, more uh, let's say uh, cross country rally style uh, things, characteristic techniques. More difficult it becomes for for someone who is new in the sport. Yeah. But in Argentina, uh, they use also WRC stages, no? Yes. Condor. Yes. El Condor. Yeah, nice. Yeah, it was but good. How, but El Condor was already narrow in a WRC car. Yeah, you should, you, you should see with the trucks. <laughs> but, but they don't do this. I remember in El Condor, you, we were starting on the top, going down, helping, blah, blah, and there was a right corner into the very, very narrow bridge. No, this, this, they didn't this let is, us go. No, no, yeah, no. because it's you, impossible. You did this Clavero. Okay. Ah, Mina Clavero. Mina yeah, Clavero up to the El Condor mountain, but not the El yeah. Condor down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it yeah, would yeah. be difficult, yeah. No, it would be impossible to pass by there. No, it would be impossible, yeah. I, I remember uh, it was so narrow that I was so scared to don't hit it that I hit it. Then you hit it. It's always like that. If you are too scared, <laughs> you hit it. Yeah. If you have big balls and you just like yeah, you inside, just uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, or maybe you <laughs> hit it with the rear. I hit it with the front. I say, oh. <laughs> Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, but it's always, uh, it was impressive, like uh, El Condor, how many spectators. Yeah, no, no, Argentina, it's all Dakar, it was crazy with the spectators. Yeah. They were always following the road sections, the stages. It was like, like the WRC. They were everywhere. So this side was missing a little bit in Saudi, that it was pretty empty. But normally, like, okay, a part of this period, which of course uh, there is, uh, we cannot race and everything, how many rallies you, your, your season contains? It's, it's quite a lot. It's, it, I think we did 10 rallies last year. I mean, the cross country. Yeah. It's like four cross country and six Bajas, I think we did. Yeah, yeah. So it's, okay. it's pretty well, What's season. the difference between cross country? Cross country are longer, no? It's longer, like it's five, yeah. six days. Good. Close to 2,000 kilometers, and the Bajas is just weekend. It's one or two days, and okay. it's 600 kilometers, 500. Okay. It's more like fast. It's always on the road, mm -hmm. and cross country is open. It's okay. in the desert, so it's Abu Dhabi, Qatar, Kazakhstan. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tough. Good. You should. And try. Uh, how? No. How many like uh, the team? Uh, like how many people you bring over? How many mechanics? Uh... Yeah, like it's different. To the Dakar, you bring big amount, like 25 we had this year, because you have a doctor, you have a physio, you have yeah, a, everyone. a you chef, have to take care of... and mechanic for this and this and this, and, and safety crew going behind you is big. But normal races, it's like rally. For each corner, one mechanic for engine. And the guys, they work all night. It's not like a rally, 45 minutes night service. Yeah. They work well, I... all night. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think in, in the end, in the rallies, in WRC, uh, a part of course, the service park, uh, the, the guys has not a lot to do, unless you come with, uh, like, like it happened to me often with half car damage. Uh, but uh, 
But a part of this, if you, if you have smooth rally, there is, uh, you know, uh, in the end, WRC weekends, uh, once the car is off stage, uh, oh, sorry, off uh, to the stage from service park, there is a lot of hole. You know, we had the days where we leave in the morning, we come in the evening. No, no, it was a few years, I think two years for sure that they, they didn't use the the line service. Yeah. It was crazy. We were eight hours on the yeah. out of the service. So yeah, the guys they had they had good time. Yeah, but in the Dakar, so the car the car comes after the stage, and there is no uh, limit time limit they can work on the car. No, but no. the problem is that the guys they have to move, so they yeah, finish the service and then they have to move the same length like me. So they drive six hundred kilometers with the truck, stop, yeah. have rest for a while, and they go to work again. Two yeah, weeks in tough. a row, every night, yeah. full night. Because they have to check everything. You know, 600 kilometer stage, the car is ah, used. Yeah. You have to oh, check all massive. the cables, all the pipes, everything. And like regulation, what is uh, like permission to to change? There are like, for example, engine, if you have a problem, you, you are allowed to change or not? No. Oh, yeah. yes, but you get like Penalty. 50 hours, 50 hours, yeah. Oh, no. Penalty. Yeah, okay. So you are but more like, or less. You are done. Okay, but it's like in WRC that you technically you uh, you have like two gearbox, two diffs, uh, or, no, you or know, is open. No, 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 no. Okay. But you have you are limited with the truck, with the space. Well, yeah. Okay. You cannot take five trucks. You can, but then it's crazy team. So. Well, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. expensive. You take whatever you have at home, but uh, the truck is small. Uh, yeah, and uh, and uh, you have also the truck who is following you on the like yes, I have. big yeah, teams. Yes, that's why I said yeah. you have really okay. a lot of people with you. So I have truck with three mechanics, but he's coming like four hours, five hours behind me. Okay. So like so we a, saw yeah. that Kuba he had a, he had a problem this year with the yeah. I think with some shaft. Gearbox. So he had to yeah. wait for the gearbox. It was yeah. I think first day. Yeah. He lost five hours yeah. and the race was gone. He finished the Dakar, it was good, but the, the, the yeah. race was lost. Yeah, I, I talked with him and, uh, and he say uh, that in the end, I say, how, how is that you keep concentration, you know, for keep going? Uh, because, it's, and he told me, which is right, you know, probably if I would be in old Dakar where I know the stages, where I have experience, I will not be so keen to continue. But because it's a new, new, new location, and it was important to get uh, experience. Yes. Uh, yeah. Because in the end, uh, you know, that's always difficult. Like, to to continue even if you see that the result is is lost. But for me, it was the the most difficult thing because when I got stuck for a half an hour, I said everything is lost. But then yeah. you see, I don't know, Carlos, he he's stuck. Nasser is stuck. Kuba is stuck. Yeah. So now ah, everybody has this problem. So. Then I said, yeah. okay, maybe I should like keep my mind open. And then I yeah. found out that I I should always like concentrate and continue. Yeah. And in the end, they count the time. But everybody has some problem. Yeah. It, it it doesn't exist Dakar without problem. Mm. Everybody makes mistakes, navigation mistakes, getting stuck. So yeah, it's not like rally. If you have a puncture, the weekend is 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 lost. Yeah. Sure. Here in Dakar. You do three punctures a day. Next day, again, again, again. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. So, and uh, like the tires, how many spare uh, spare tires you bring in the car? Two, yeah, three, three, three. Yeah, but this this, this year I, I did two days with three punctures, and like hundred kilometers to the end of the stage with full of stones. Then you are really thinking about every stone and going so slow. Yeah. One stage I finished with just three wheels because I didn't have any more. So it's sometimes it's difficult. Yeah. You need second driver behind you, but uh, yeah, to to yeah. Yeah, like Toyota, they they were helping each other a lot. Yeah, for sure. I, I yeah, it's like when you have more uh, the team with more uh, crews. Yeah. Uh, you know, after maybe half a rally where someone has a already technical issue, is only doing a service. It's like yes. helping, continue to also in case of uh, helping the leader. Yeah. Let's say that's the and, advantage yeah, of advantage. the big teams. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah. And uh, so next year, Dakar. When is it? January. 
It's always, always the same, yeah, generally, always. yeah. And same, uh, say they, how, how, how you know that, I mean, when they notify you the stages, you, you don't know. You have no idea. Okay. Even when we come to the start of the stage, you have no idea what will happen that day. You don't know if there will be more sand or, or uh, rocks. You, you always listen to the guys around, they are saying something. You check the, the Google, what is this location about? So you are trying to find out something because you want to make some setup or something, yeah, but sure. you have really limited uh, information. Or at least my small team. Maybe yeah. the French guys, they, they can ask a little bit more, but we don't know, we don't know. So now they should announce the, the countries, but as mm -hmm. this situation is not easy, yeah, so they didn't announce it now, but they said it will be one or two more countries, so okay. something in the Middle East okay. region. And yeah, I hope to go to Abu Dhabi because Abu Dhabi is amazing in the dunes. Yeah, it's the best dunes in the world. It's it's like playing ground for racing drivers. Yeah, yeah, it's really amazing. I couldn't imagine before from WRC. I was just like you know, just like WRC is the best. But once you try this, you say yeah, it's good fun. It's yeah, not for yeah. spectators, but for drivers, it's you are completely free. You can do whatever you want. Yeah, it's like a freedom. It's freedom, yeah, complete. Yeah. This we like. Yeah, we, <laughs> we say hello to Cuba. He's saying, go, go, Martin. Hi, Cuba. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to fight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm missing it because now he's using the, also the petrol engine. Before he was the yeah. diesel. Yeah. Now he's the V8, so I want to compete with him. Yeah, yeah. It, would be, it would be nice. I mean, in the end, uh, it's always uh, it's always nice to discover, and uh, hopefully, yeah. But uh, like the car again, you do development of the car. You try like, uh, I mean, it's, it's so you try difficult. everything. It's crazy. It, we are always with the, now the engine is too weak, now the aerodynamics, now the gearbox, now the dampers, and going like around, around, trying to improve. And you see Toyota made something, then you are trying to do the same, or try it, yeah. and you know, it's crazy. <laughs> so we, and what we do everything here in Czech Republic. Say again? Yeah. I lost connection. Uh, what dampers are you using? Uh, we are using the dampers from Slovakia, FRT. Okay. They are quite okay, but for Saudi, we, we were not ready for this high speed. So sometimes we had a, we have a troubles that I couldn't push on the high speed like bumps. Yeah. This yeah. we have to improve now. Yeah. Yeah. The engine we do in oh. Poland. Oh. The mapping. See. I have a okay. Lukasz from Poland. He's great on the okay. mapping the engine. So. Okay. Engine, I am pretty sure that we are on the good way. Right. So good, nice to hear. Yeah, yeah. I know. Uh, in the end, you know, it's uh, the Czech Republic, Poland, Slovakia. There are some uh, good people, and uh, no, no, great people. And, yeah, and, uh, you can find good nice people for everything. So it's possible Maybe to do can... it, but to build the WRC, I for this I would not go. It's so complicated to fight with the yeah. uh, with the big teams, but. Dakar is a little bit better because the rules are more open and, and we have more freedom also in the rules. So it's a little bit more easy than WRC. But yeah, the car is more racing than the WRC. It's completely a prototype. WRC is still a little bit, you know, the body shell yeah, is yeah. a little bit standard. Yeah. Well, but in the end, the body shell, if you think, uh, is incredible, is a, is a Fiesta body shell. Yeah, when it is. Our, our, at least our car when we were driving was, uh, I mean, you can, uh, many parts you can buy it in the, in the dealer service. Yeah, yeah, they, they took it from the production line. It was some yeah. one liter Fiesta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, this is different because this, this track is completely prototype. Prototype. Yeah, Everything. Sure. So. Yeah, because also there are buggies, no? Bar yeah, buggies, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In the end. Uh, but what's it's, the, like, buggy, you can use two-wheel two drive and four-wheel drive? No, buggy, you have to use the two-wheel. Two two-wheel drive, okay. Two-wheel drive, longer dampers, I think bigger engines. Yeah, they are fast on the top speed. 
and on the like medium bumps they are very fast they just go straight because it's very comfortable because the biggest limit for the current cars it's you because Me. the car survive it okay, just yeah. it just hurts okay so more yeah, you survive yeah, I know. more you can go yeah that's yeah. crazy yeah i i i, I cannot imagine sitting like for so road section and then stage maybe 8 hours no yeah sometimes you like wake up you you go four or five hours to the stage yeah then you drive five hour stage and then you still go two hours sometimes it's really like 12 13 hours yeah with one guy next to you yeah it's not <laughs> after one week <laughs> it's complicated you... <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I always say that in rallies and uh, and when you have co-driver in the end is is uh, worse than uh, being married no, no. It's more difficult, not worse, because they, they, but it's more difficult. You know, when you get upset with your wife or, or you have bad day, you just go out from the home, you know, you go somewhere, you come back and it's fine. Here you yeah. cannot, you know, it's like uh, maybe someone has a worse day and bad day. There is a tension, there is, a, you know, stress. Uh, it, it is... Uh, no, it is you have a, to find a compromise also here because, as you said, you have a bad day today and co driver tomorrow, he makes some mistake, you are angry to him, you know. But you have to somehow work with it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see let's see maybe some some questions from uh, from uh, Martin Prokop oh no, and Black Yellow Rally car, what I remember. <laughs> Which was black yellow car? I, I remember you from uh, C two, Super sixteen hundred. Yeah, I have it wow. here. That was nice car. It was one of the best. I, I drove it in Italy a few years you, ago. I, yeah. Crazy difficult. You drove some two wheel, right? Well, I have a Super sixteen hundred. You have, yeah, Clio. Clio. The, yeah. Because Mega. when I when I see my videos from the past, I say, ah, oh, it's cool. It looks like nice to drive. When I drove it after so many years in no in traction. 4x4, no traction. Ooh. Does it? Uh, no, no, no braking. Yeah, and you have a I, throttle, and it's going somewhere because you have so much yeah. spin and then you release the throttle it's going completely different way i drove uh, uh, when i when i after my accident i did some uh, couple of rallies uh, with uh, super 1600 i put a, a pneumatic uh, a shifter yeah so pr practically i have a paddle uh, near the steering wheel or like wrc but the super 1600 uh, and uh, I, the, because I own this car, <laughs> and uh, and I drove also uh, first time I drove uh, as a zero. Uh, in when was it? 2014, probably. No, no, earlier, 2012. Or something. I don't remember. Yeah, it had to be something like that. Yeah, uh, I drove uh, sequential as well. Uh, a zero zero car number in Italy. Oh. Uh, right. How you did with with the hand? Well, I I, I did it. But it was because uh, it's going could, from left to right like crazy. It's, it doesn't go straight, even on uh, the my straight. One, my one, my one, works well. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hmm. Okay. You it's, should it's, you should try a C two. <laughs> no, uh, Cleo, I I, I, I my, my I really like it. No, no, it I was like, uh, one of the best times in my life because yeah. this engine, nine thousand RPM, poo, was yeah. fun. Yeah. Maybe some sometimes even some cars more than nine thousand. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's old stories. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's it, it's great car. Yeah. Yeah, it's good sound, and this is what we're coming from. You know, I, the, when you switch on uh, Super Clio, you know it's bloody slow compared to WRC. To uh, but it is, the yeah. sound, but the sound. I mean, it's it, inside the car. You think you are flying. No, no, you are no, no, the engine makes you crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but once it was good in Monte Carlo, uh, the last stage was the Formula One track. I don't know what yeah. was the year. And the WRC, they had to use the snow tires, but they didn't make this rule for for the two-wheel cars. They forgot it. Oh, so we were driving on the slicks, slicks against the WRC in the Monte and you Carlo. Won. That was and you good. won. You won not. 
No, no, no. I, will, I don't know. Do you remember? It was three or six or something like that. Yeah, yeah, but for sure. Still, the power was missing, but yeah, it was good. But, uh, I yeah, was I ready remember, to make uh, it, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I remember I, once I came uh, to watch WRC in Mona, Monte Carlo, the, the last stage was uh, using, let's say, short version of Formula 1 track. Yes. So that was it, yes. Yeah, ten one. And They uh, didn't I let remember, us go to the tunnel. Yeah, they you were turning right before the uphill, yes. and then helping right and swimming pool and yes, uh, I, I remember twice, uh, I think. twice or uh, three times. Yeah, Rautenbach uh, crashed uh, heavily yes. in the chicane yes. in the yeah. But it was good. I, I like it in in Monaco. Yeah, Monte Carlo is a good ride. Difficult. I mean, yeah. Wow. Also F one. I was trying on the simulator a few days ago, with Curin to to fight at home, yeah. and it's crazy. I was crashing so many times in Monaco. Like, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> how you well, can drive the, mar one the margin the, the margin is uh, much smaller uh, so you have to be much more precise but Monte Carlo is very tough mentally okay uh, because uh, uh, everything happens so quick yeah uh, and uh, it is really fast I mean uh, last year what we did one uh, I did one I think 113 and I was driving the slowest car so uh, by it, it feels Fast. That's and, and and now Formula One cars are much wider, uh, so actually the also the space is becoming smaller. Yeah. Uh, and if you think like Monte Carlo, I, last time I drove in 2010, so I came last year 2019 after nine years not driving Monte Carlo oh. uh, in F1. So uh, nine years is uh, makes big difference. But I like it. I like really uh, Monaco. And what is the most difficult corner? Uh, it depends which car you drive, uh, but uh, the margin is very small uh, in the sw second swimming pool chicane, so the s slower one, yes. you know, yeah. you, you jump over the curb a lot, yes. and uh, the barrier is coming like, you know, when you hit, it's not a rally car F1, if you hit the curb, it, it jumps, and uh, if you hit it wrong angle, it can end up uh, massively bad. Yeah, you see a lot of mistakes there, yeah. Yeah, it's, and also because now the entry is faster, so uh, before you were braking more straight and the entry was slower. So the second she came, the second part where you are jumping, you were slower. But now the entry, they modified radius of the corner. So you can actually break into the into that corner, you know, okay. during cornering. So you are really tied to the there and you try to make it as, as straight as possible. It's it's tough. It's, no, I tried uh, it on PlayStation, but <laughs> yeah, in reality, tricky. in reality, it's much tougher than uh, and then uh, and especially you know to keep a uh, uh, concentration for like 70 laps or i don't remember so more even yeah because more you, than you see the this is restaurants laps. bars people yeah <laughs> <laughs> no, it no, but crazy. I mean, it's it's uh, i i i found it uh, monaco very tough from mentally okay it's uh, it, it's really exhausting yeah two and, hours uh, cool yeah, it's a bit shorter. The Monte Car Monaco race is uh, the only one which is shorter from uh, from the distance because uh, normally it's over 300 kilometers, but uh, it will uh, take too long time. Yeah. So, uh, but it is uh, very demanding. Yeah, very you don't have much time to relax. No, this is what I like in uh, rally cars. Rally cars are very drivable. And uh, racing cars are so exhausting mentally that oof, uh, sometimes it's, uh, you know, you, you know what you have to do. You go into the corner and, uh, or for example, the SLS, you drove, we drove uh, the Mercedes. Yeah. For me, it was like sitting in the sofa. It was so nice. <laughs> this was the easiest car it's I have ever driven. Yeah, this was the easiest car I have ever driven you know, on the racetrack. Okay. It, it was nice because it was a lot of confidence, a lot of torque. Uh, you know, very, let's say, very rally car style. Yeah, you don't but fight not, with the car. The yeah, car is no, made yeah, for you. Yeah, N normally race cars are completely opposite. Okay. Like, for example, if you drive a different GT3 car, I drove some other cars, ooh, then it's becoming a hard job. Okay. Yeah, and uh, it's really much more, it's maybe faster a bit, but it's uh, it requires five times more effort. Mm -hmm. Mental. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, here. The question is, uh, I have. Uh, let's do. We have three minutes, and then it will shut down. So, 
we have to say goodbye before uh, it uh, expire one hour. Okay. Uh, what do we have? Martin. Ah, they are asking uh, maybe some uh, virtual racing with me. Do I you try? You... No. I but you try. Okay, PlayStation, no. Uh, the people no. are asking about uh, SLS if we drive together again. Well, this question for you, not for me. The car is ready, me. your name is on the door. Well, and now I, I'm driving BMWs and Alfa Romeo, so uh, yeah. maybe in the future. But uh, <laughs> we, we have to, I would be more keen to organize a winter uh, rally testing. No problem. Or snow, some yeah. uh, long spikes, Swedish. We have the machines. Uh, I have a lot of, I have like 200 of the spike tires, so. Yeah, yeah you see. But how many, how many cars you have in your workshop? So C2. Uh, I have C2, the Ignis Super 1600, SLS, GT, Fiona, and two Shreks. Yeah, I, I want to buy the cars back, all this S2000, Mitsubishi, yeah. and uh, this stuff, but maybe now Mitsubishi. I should find some time, because before we are just racing, racing. Yeah. But I would like to have them, have them home, Yeah. have the memories. Ignis, Ignis uh, uh, was fast, no? Yeah, it's fast, but it's a stable car, it's good, but C2 is much faster. Yeah. yeah. Especially it's on like Primark, I think, cable no? car, we call it like yeah. cable, we'll it's big. Ah, here, come back WRC Martin. In no, come back 20... WRC Robert. <laughs> no, yeah, here is the question, Robert and Martin. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. No, no uh, definitely, I'm missing WRC. I want to do some races with R5 in the future. Argentina, Mexico, all these things. Yeah. yeah. yeah I'm missing it. Uh, yeah. But uh, it would be tough, man. Yeah. You like the tough stuff. Yeah, but when you end up the stage and you see uh, others 20 seconds in front. It hurts. <laughs> you are going very motivated to the race and then you are losing and crying. Uh, it, yeah. It's like that. All right. Okay, Martin, I think Good. the time will expire. So, thank you very much. Thank you very much. It was nice say, to see you. Say hello to all team, to your family. Thank and, you. Uh, stay safe. Healthy. Same to you. And, uh, and uh, ahoy. Ahoy. Nasledano. 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 Okay. <laughs> ciao. Ciao. Keep safe. Ciao, ciao. Ciao.